Greetings, everyone. How are you? My name is Saima, and I am a Reiki master, a yoga teacher, a spiritual coach, goddess guide, and meditation teacher. I just like to call myself a holistic healer. Anyways, um, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I was inspired to create this video because I actually have another one on manifesting soulmate love, and that has led a lot of people to contact me and request that I help them make a particular person fall in love with them or help them to get their ex back into their life. And, um, you know, my reply always to those kind of requests is that I absolutely cannot help interfere with somebody else's free will. But what I can help you with is sort of dig a lot deeper and figure out why is it that you feel that you can't be happy right now if you don't have this particular person. Um, and so when I work with these clients, you know, we do a lot of work on um, not only releasing all those blocks and barriers to their own self-love, but also letting go and surrendering to the point where they open themselves up to such a state of peace and joy that if that person that they originally wanted, whom now they have sort of blessed and released, uh, was meant to be with them, they either come back into their life and the relationship has evolved and been uplifted and healed, um, or at least, you know, they come back together and they join in a much more beautiful place, or they find greater love, you know, because now they're in a state of self-love. So uh, that's a very particular situation, but I know that a lot of us, when, we, when it comes to things that we're attached to, romantic love tends to be a big topic. Of course, other areas are finances, you know, really needing money or, or that security and financial support. Um, being attached to a job, you know, a, a dream job, especially something that you really have your heart set on, pregnancy, you know, opening to create a baby, or so many other kinds of desires. On one hand, sometimes we need to uh, realize that when we're in the process of manifesting, there's a difference between manifesting and obsessing, you know, and there's a reason it's called co-creating. That means there's a part that we do, which is our spiritual work of maybe vision boards and affirmations and those kind of tools. Uh, but then there's a part where we have to let go. The co-creating is letting go and letting God. And, you know, when I say God, I mean whatever that, that works for you in terms of the universe, love, your spirit. So uh, just, you know, let that mean whatever feels comfortable to you. The word doesn't matter so much, but it's just really about letting go and trusting that, okay, I've done my work. I have set my intention. I'm clear about what I want, uh, but now I trust that if there's anything I need to do, any guidance that I need to follow, that I will be given that guidance and I will take inspired and joyful action. And otherwise, I'm going to just go about my business, live my life and be present and peaceful and joyful and grateful for all the blessings that I actually already have in my life. And uh, if instead we get attached and we're just focusing on where is this person? Where is that money? Where is that job? Why isn't he calling? Why haven't I heard from them? When's it coming? How's it coming? You know, and just get really um, stuck in that kind of thinking. What that does is it takes us out of the present moment and it really just keeps us from seeing all the beauty in our life, uh, appreciating all the blessings in our life and being fully immersed in all the rich, beautiful blessings that are in us and all around us. Um, and that's one part of needing to let go of sur and surrender. And another part is when we actually have a struggle. So something that really is bothering us and keeping us up at night, again, whether it's needing a job or needing to pay your bills or a health concern or a loved one that might be going through something that you're very concerned with and maybe you feel very helpless. So just anything that we find ourselves constantly worrying about, right? Um, the when we are in that state, we're actually perpetuating the energy of um, problems or negativity, right? And so when we can let go and surrender, we finally say, okay, I've done my best. I've, I've prayed or I've taken these actions and now I have to let go and trust that the benevolent and loving universe, God, goddess, will step in and take care of everything. And, um, you know, the divine is standing on its tiptoes waiting for us to say please help let i'm letting go i'm i'm surrendering this to you and um i hope that the guided meditation i'll take you through in a moment will help you to really do that and embody the feelings of peace so just remembering that whether it's something you know you want to manifest and bring into your life 
um, the moment you know that you need to let go is when it turns from being optimistic and excited to feeling attached and anxious. That's when we need to let go and surrender. And also if there's like um, a problem or an issue that you're dealing with, if you're in a state of, you know, staying present and calm and clear and focused, that will help you to have creative ideas and listen to your inner guidance and inspiration on how to deal with it. But if it's turning into worry um, and, you know, fear, then we need to surrender. So what I'm going to invite you to do is to think of one thing in your life that you are really excited about manifesting and maybe something that you've become a little attached to, you're getting a little anxious about. And then also think about something in your life that might be a challenge for you right now that is causing you some stress and some worry. So I want to help you um, let go of both the attachment to the thing you want to manifest as well as the worry about the, maybe the thing that already is in your life that is something that you're in some resistance with. So um, go ahead and think about those for a moment and then we will get started. So I'm just going to invite you to now close your eyes. Don't worry about looking at the video. And normally I spend a lot of time just helping you relax, but for the YouTube video, I'll have to go through it a little quicker. So we'll have to get right to the relaxation part. But if you could just focus on your breathing and take a deep breath in, and perhaps even hold it for a moment and then exhale, let it all go. And take another deep breath in, hold, and slowly exhale and breathing perhaps you can even get a sense of your heartbeat and just rest your entire awareness here and with your mind's eye your inner vision going to now journey into the inner realms, the realm of spirit, where miracles happen instantly. And in this place of rest and trust and openness, you find yourself now on a beautiful ocean shore. It's a bright sunny day. There's a lovely breeze. You can hear it through the palm trees, ocean waves, and you're just walking along the shoreline and you see a nice rock looks so smooth and you just feel called to sit on it. As you take a seat facing the ocean and the sun, feeling the breeze, it's a beautiful, perfectly clear day, there's no one else around, it's just you. In this vast ocean, a paradise-like island. Over here, in this state of being so relaxed and clear, bring in front of you, as if you were perhaps watching this, like on a movie screen, the issue in your life that you're very challenged with right now. Something that is causing you a lot of stress, something that's perhaps always on your mind. And every time you think about it, it brings you anxiety or brings up fear. And feel in your body where this negativity manifests. Does it increase your heart rate? Does your mind feel foggy? Do you feel pressure around your head? Do you feel uncomfortable, edginess or sensations in your belly? Do you feel tense in your back, your neck or shoulders? Just really connect with the place in your body that reacts or responds to thinking about the situation. And allow those feelings to really amplify, really be present with them, notice them. And now as you sit here, 
a beautiful ray of light descends down from the heavens, from the sky, a ray of pure, sparkling white light. This light now permeates through you and between you and the situation that you've imagined in front of you. The light starts creating a bubble of light around the situation. It cuts away the connection, the energetic connection between you and the situation. And this beautiful pure white light starts clearing you as if it was vacuuming you of all that negativity, all those uncomfortable sensations in your body, completely vacuuming and clearing you of all that lower energy, all that fear, and all the ways in which it manifested in your body. All that tension, all that anxiety, all that tightness, any pressure, being completely cleared with the white light. Just breathe, there's nothing you have to do except breathe and relax. And the sacred white light is doing all the healing work. Breathing with your exhale, just let go even more deeply. Surrendering completely, letting it all go. Perhaps even affirming, I let go and let God. I let go and I let this white light. I let go and let the universe. I let go. I let Goddess. I let go and let my inner God. Whatever feels good to you, whatever source of love you connect to, just surrender. And this white light has completely cleared you and it's severed the toxic energetic connection or cord between you and the situation. And now inviting a group of angels to surround that bubble of light which contains that struggle or challenge. And this group of angels is taking this bubble now up into the sky, up into the heavens. You totally let it go and you see these angels surround it with even more light as they take it up to the heavens where the universe, where the benevolent creator who loves you infinitely and wants only the very best for you is going to create a miraculous solution to this issue. And breathing, feeling the lightness, almost feeling like you can even more deeply enjoy the sound of the ocean waves. You can feel the mists of the water touch your skin, the breeze, feeling connected to the rock that you're sitting on. And now I invite you to call before you something in your life that you wish to co-create, a wish, a dream, a desire, perhaps something that, again, you've been very attached to. And call this forth and see the situation clearly See now a vision of it that makes you excited and joyful, that makes your heart so happy, where everyone involved is also happy and freely present with you. And everything that's happening in this bubble is for everybody's best and highest good with everyone's free will. Feel the sense of gratitude in your heart for this situation manifesting in ways that you could not have even imagined. Feel so much joy radiate through you. Feel a sense of celebration and also just peace. And if there's any attachment that comes up when you think about this, any anxiety, any sense of, I don't deserve it, I'm not worthy, what if it doesn't happen for me, what if I'm not lucky enough, when is it going to happen, 
allow all that stuff to come up again. And feel in your body where this emotion is showing up and how it feels in your body. And again, the beautiful, pure, divine white light is going to clear you completely of any anxiety, any attachment, any negativity associated with this desire. And just breathe in. And on the exhale, feel yourself releasing all that attachment energy to the light for purification and cleansing and releasing. Keep breathing, allow this light to do everything. And when you're completely clear, the light is now severing any attachment, any anxiety, and keeping only the optimism and the openness to this desire or something better manifesting for you in perfect divine timing and miraculous and magical ways. And again, perhaps inviting a group of angels or fairies or goddesses or light beings or spirit guides, seeing them surround this bubble of light which contains your vision for your desire manifests at its most joyful and highest potential. And see these divine loving beings now lift this bubble up into the heavens where it will be aligned with the divine's even greater, more blissful, more beautiful, more bountiful will for your greatest happiness and everybody's benefit and highest good. and let go of what that could show up like for you and trust that as you let it go, the divine will bring to you in perfect timing, the manifestation of your desire, perhaps in a way that is different from what you expected, but now you're letting that go and opening to the happiness that you deserve and trusting that what shows up for you will be what will truly be for your highest good. And releasing all attachment to the divine of the form that this takes, when it shows up, how it shows up, what it looks like, all of those details, surrendering them completely. And now feeling again your body, feeling the sensations of being clear freer of those negative emotions, those negative sensations of attachment and fear. That white light still with you now, this beautiful light turns into a lovely golden and pink color. Pink to fill you with divine love and gold to uplift you and to protect you from your own fear and your own attachment and just protect you in every part of your life, help you to feel divinely supported and guided and loved in every way because you really are. And feel the sensations of freedom and peace and total surrender, opening to miracles and trust that in the days and weeks and months to come, as you continue to rest in peace and trust and surrender, that miracles will abound for you in these areas and all other areas. And feeling yourself bathed in that golden and pink light, sitting on that rock. Now feel yourself back into your room, back into this time and space, connecting with whatever it is that you're sitting on right now, whether it's a chair, your bed, the floor, feeling as if your roots, your sit bones were grounding into Mother Earth, bringing you fully back, anchoring you to the present moment, and that this new state of peace will help you to be present and grateful and grounded in every moment of your life. 
when you're ready, opening your eyes and thanking yourself for taking this journey and for letting go and letting God and trusting that the more that you can allow yourself to surrender and let go, the more you open yourself up to miracles and beautiful manifestations and the most creative and amazing solutions in whatever it is that you find yourself struggling with or attached to. So I hope that this has been very helpful for you. If you'd like more personal one-on-one -on -one guidance, um, I'd love to support you. You can find me on my website. It's www.flourishinglotus.com. There should be info um, on the YouTube video at the end. So thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you your prayers being answered above and beyond your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. And anything that you're struggling with, I trust that God is going to surprise and delight you with beautiful, miraculous solutions. Namaste.